On October 26, 2011, Lauren Wax and I attended the roundup of wild horses in the Great Divide Basin, a 779,000 acre BLM herd management area in southwestern Wyoming that's larger than the state of Rhode Island. Over 200 wild horses had been rounded up the day before, and this little bunch of stallions were awaiting shipment to a holding facility in Utah. Because they live just north of the designated boundary of the herd management area, none will be returned to the wild. How are they to know where that invisible boundary lay in a sea of blue-green sage? They roamed in a herd area originally designated for their use, but a place where BLM no longer chooses to manage them. And so they must go, all of them, their precious freedom lost forever. High winds today cause a delay in the roundup and give us a chance to explore with the help of photographer Carol Walker. A little group of young bachelors play in the distance. The pale Palomino reminds me of Cloud when he was a two-year-old, gently play-fighting with his bachelor buddies. Nearby, a sorrel stallion appears to have gotten too close to the red dun band stallion, who signals his mares to move away. The big sorrel may be dogging the group, trying to steal a mare. The bald-faced foal is one of many with bold facial markings. Near the road, we spot a family band of four. They seem curious about us. I doubt they've had much contact with humans. The red dun filly is likely the daughter of this handsome Gruyabanne stallion. Billy snorts an alert, and I wish them luck at evading the coming aerial assault. Sixty miles south, we encounter many bands of wild horses congregated near a pond just north of Interstate 80. The highway is the southernmost boundary of the Great Divide Basin herd management area and is part of what is called checkerboard lands one mile of private land, then one mile of public land, 20 miles wide on both sides of the freeway. This hodgepodge of public and private land was created in the 1800s when the railroad was built and investors wanted to encourage settlement. Nearly half of Wyoming's wild horses live in this corridor. Recently, the powerful Rock Springs Grazing Association sued BLM to have all these horses removed. It's unlikely that BLM will fight to keep the horses in the multi-million acre corridor, so the Cloud Foundation and others successfully petitioned the court to participate in the lawsuit in order that the wild horses might have a voice in the debate. On day two, as the sun is just hitting the distant Wind River Mountains, the helicopters take to the air. The place designated for us to observe the roundup is a half mile away from the trap site on a windblown hill. Even with the best of telephoto lenses, the distant horses are shimmering dots. The private contractor is using two helicopters working in tandem. The choppers are sometimes out for an hour or more before we spot them again miles away. All the horses you see will be removed, every one of them. The BLM confirmed that at least some of the horses being driven in might have been roaming within the herd management area and so might have had an opportunity, albeit a small one, to be released back to the wild. Perhaps the helicopter pilots, like the wild horses they chase, find it difficult to tell just where that elusive herd management area boundary might be. Every animal you see here will lose their family and their freedom because they were captured 
outside the managed area. Quickly the horses are sorted and the family unit is fractured. Mares are separated from their foals. Stallions are separated from their mares. One Mustang fights gallantly for freedom, but none are successful today. Within minutes of capture, some are driven into this huge semi-truck, eventually bound for short and long-term holding facilities. The helicopter is driving in a band on the hill behind us, and it's our only chance to see their sweat-soaked bodies in their desperate attempt to shake free from the giant, terrifying aerial predator. This area, for as far as you can see, was once designated as a wild horse herd area by the Wild Horse and Burrow Act of 1971. But BLM didn't want to manage the horses on these bigger landscapes, so they created the smaller herd management areas. Now any horse in the larger herd area is hunted down as a trespasser. Caught in the crossfire are the fleet-footed little pronghorn antelope. Ironically, we were told that one reason wild horses are not managed here is because it's an important migration route for pronghorn. In just 40 years, the Mustangs have lost one half of the lands designated for their use, from over 54 million acres to less than 27 million. Only 11% of the acreage managed by BLM. They've been robbed of their homes to accommodate privately owned livestock. Livestock are allocated 83% of the forage on wild horse herd management areas, while the horses receive a meager 17%. Each year, over 123 million taxpayer dollars are lost to prop up a subsidized public lands grazing program. And now oil and gas drilling and extractive mineral uses threaten to further erode the wild horses home on the range. A Judas horse, trained to run for the trap, is released, and the wild ones follow. Two foals, unable to keep up with their mothers, run frantically through a barbed wire fence. The long run was futile, exhausting, and damaging. But the worst is yet to come. Some of the Great Divide Basin wild horses will be housed here, at least temporarily. Separated and disoriented, the horses begin their incarceration. Less than 3,000 of the over 8,000 or so captured this past year were adopted. The rest are sold or held captive for life. This foal may have been born here, in the dirt of the Rock Springs Corral. Her mother bravely defends the foal from being trampled by the milling adult horses. What fate awaits this little lame one? And what a contrast from her still wild cousins, safe for now on the range. Miles away, the little family enjoys a warm fall day, oblivious of the danger that awaits. As long as there is one Mustang still living in the wild, we will be there fighting for their right to live in freedom.
Please tell your senators and congressional representatives you do not want your tax dollars spent on costly, cruel, and unnecessary roundups of our American Mustangs. Ask them not to fund the roundups. Thanks so much for supporting our efforts to protect an American treasure. Happy trails. <laughs>